Hey friends, it's Miss Hoffman. I'm here to do another drawing with you and the theme of this one is going to be a llama. The free story on scholastic.com for preschool through kindergarten today is, Is Your Mama a Llama? And it is a really cute story. And remember to access that, you can go to classroommagazine.scholastic.com and the username is learning20 with a capital L and Clifford is the password with a capital C. And they have resources that are completely free uh, for the next couple of weeks for kindergarten through fifth grade. There is a free fiction and nonfiction story for every grade level. And this one was a really cute story. Is your mama a llama? Now, first we're going to do a fluffy part of the head up here. We're gonna go fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Pretty easy. We're gonna go kind of slow so you can see. Now I'm gonna go up and down like a triangle shape. And draw the inside. That's gonna be the llama's ear. Now I'm gonna draw another ear for the llama back here. A little bit farther, a little bit smaller if you want to make it look like it's a little bit farther away. It's on the other side of the llama's head. Now I'm gonna go fluffy, fluffy, fluffy like a cloud. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy like a cloud. This is gonna be kind of like the little poof on the top of the llama's head. All right, and now I'm going to draw the face kind of sticking out of that. I'm gonna go out and back in. And connect. That's simple. Now I'm going to draw the fur coming down. So I'm gonna go fluff, 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 fluff. I made a little mark on my paper. <laughs> and go down. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. All the way down. Now I'm going to draw a straight line on our llama's back and you'll see why in a second instead of doing fluffy. So straight line on the llama's back. But, but then coming from that straight line, I'm gonna draw a fluffy tail like that. And I'm gonna go down and do a leg, down and up. Fluffy belly, do a leg. Running into my easel here, down and up and connect. And then I can draw two more legs. All right, so now we have a fluffy llama standing here. We're going to make her fancy, and she is going to have her eye closed. Now, if you don't want a fancy llama with her eye closed with eyelashes, you can draw a different type of eye. And draw a little line for the nose, a little line for the mouth. Now, I'm going to, right here on her back, put a little blanket on her back. You can put designs or patterns on the blanket if I want to little tassels on the blanket if I want to. I can make it as fancy as I want. And you have just drawn a llama. Then you can put in a background. Where is your llama at? So our llama is standing in the foreground. We know that that's up close. So there's the ground. Maybe there's a hill behind my llama. Maybe this is an opportunity for me to hide my little mark that I just made. Maybe there's a hill behind our llama. Maybe there's a sun. All right, so decide where your llama is at. Put in a background, build some depth, and then you can color that in any colors you want. Now the llama's fur, I would probably leave white, but you could do brown or gray. I would maybe do the face like a peach or brown, and the, or, or gray, but I would probably do maybe a peach or brown for the face, white for the fur, and then color in my background in the blanket. I hope you like this. Show us if you make one, we'd love to see it. Bye.